Thank you for the opportunity to speak. Uh, my name is Amy Frog, and I am the parent of two, is this too loud, of two um, public school children here in Nashville. I'm also the District 9 representative for the Nashville School Board. Um, I was elected in August. I ran against the highest funded candidate in school board history. I was outfunded five to one, and I won by a two to one margin. And I say that not as bragging rights, but to tell you that I represent a strong, silent majority here in Nashville that is vehemently posed, opposed to bills like this. And I know right now you guys have been hearing from a lot of people who've paid a lot of money to be involved in this discussion here in Tennessee. And I implore you to hear parents and those of us who will be directly impacted by this bill. Um, what I want to say today is here in Davidson County, we have an excellent track record um, with our charter schools. We are outperforming the national average. The national average is pretty low. It's only 17% of charter schools outperform our traditional schools. We are far above that average. We are outperforming the national average on approving charter schools. I think that we have shown that we are open to innovation. I think that we have shown that we are very good at managing our charter schools. And we have a good relationship with the charter schools that we have. This bill would undermine that relationship. It would create a shotgun marriage and we would not be able to have the collaboration that we've had so far. Uh, the real reason we are, we're talking about this bill today is that is a reaction to a disagreement that our district had with the State Board of Education um, and uh, with, over one particular charter school, over the quality of that school. Um, and our board, in good faith, determined that the requirements that were set by the state for that school had not been met. Um, that resulted in a $3.4 million fine. So it's kind of unfortunate, I think, that we are sort of being singled out here in Davidson County. Um, the other point I want to make is that the only grossly underperforming school we have, the only grossly underperforming charter school here in Davidson County, uh, was opened under the direction of the State Board of Education. We were forced to open it. Um, and then uh, finally, a couple more points. I think this would place an undue financial burden on our city. Right now we pay two-thirds the cost of our char charters. The state pays one-third. The charters here are not full. They're not at capacity. We're paying for them and we're paying for other schools. Um, we would be paying a lot more if we had a, a, lo a large amount of charter schools. And I, I would just ask you to consider rolling this bill until you can really hear from um, other people who have a strong interest in this. I know Dr. Register, who's our director of schools, is uh, interested in speaking, um, and he really needs to have opportunity. And, and because this bill came up at 4 o'clock p.m. yesterday, and we've got a lot of parents here supporting us. That's pretty amazing since it's 3 o'clock. It's pickup time for <laughs> kids at school. I really hope that you will uh, be willing to listen to other people that have an interest in this bill. Thank you. Thank you.